Arab. No, wait, which one was the Arab nose? Good morning. I feel like I just saw you not even eight hours ago. Dina Jolie here, AKA Siren Bella says, welcome back to my channel. I still have the face on that I had yesternight. Um, I'm about to go wash this face off, come right back to you, and today we are going to test out all brand new first impressions. High-end, affordable, drugstore, you know it. Stick around. This CoverGirl clean mat showing up on your YouTube and Instagram feed. Um, I think this foundation is circa 1962. Any of you who grew up in the 80s, started applying makeup, late 80s, early 90s, remember CoverGirl? It's probably the first foundation that you ever tried. And not only is it the first foundation, it was the fucking pinkest foundation that you ever tried. And if you were yellow, tan, God forbid any other color than high pink white, um, you just had the most ashy, ashy complexion. And that was before we blended foundation down our neck but I digress. So I decided that I was gonna pick this little girl up because I'm saying cover girl is paying mad coin to advertise on all of the major YouTubers and not one YouTuber that I follow has included this foundation on their channel. So YouTube trending, take notice. I got it in warm beige 545. Um, the color selection did not look very promising. They all just looked kind of off. You know, this is pump days this is one of those foundations you it's not gonna fall out it's so thick oh yeah oh yeah I, I hope I gave her a shake I mean she looks like yeah she could probably survive a nuclear holocaust Lexi small contour brush um, that Bailey Sarian uses as a foundation brush to stipple and I'm gonna go ahead and stipple this way too warm foundation all over my face. God, the smell, man, this takes me back. Eighth grade, locker room, not a good place to be in the late 80s. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, color completely off. Oh, Dina, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. All right, let's see, cover girl clean. Is that what it is? Yep, cover girl clean matte. No claims on the bottle. Super, super, super plain, clean, simple packaging. Oh, I'm going to look super, super duper Willy Wonka today. You know what it smells like? It reminds me of the old school... Noxema. Who remembers the Noxema cleanser that was kind of balmy and it would sting your eyes because it had so much fucking menthol in it? And that shit would wake you up in the morning, boy. It's probably the reason why all of us in our 40s have fucking skin problems because we burnt all the good skin cells off with the damn Noxema. If you are someone who likes to perhaps use their fingers or a brush like this to just quickly stipple on a sheer to light. They're calling it matte. I mean, it's not drying down in some funky way. I think it has, you know what it does? It feels like, it feels like a tinted moisturizer. That's exactly what it feels like. Um, if you are anything close to my shade range, uh, this is not your shade. <laughs> Just thought you should know. But, I mean, this is, what shade did I use? I used 545 Warm Beige. I'm sure there's a buff beige somewhere around. Can I get a yellow beige? Can I get an olive beige? A Middle Eastern beige? Dude, there's a whole fucking population of humans from the Middle East that have olive yellow skin. And we burn. And we also tan. We need foundations made for our skin type. Go ahead and add that to your roster at your next corporate Sephora board meeting. All right. Um, I'm not going to bother building this because um, I'm not going to bother building it. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to give her another try. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wear her all day, see about this matte claim, but let's, let's just move on to concealer. All right. 
let's move let's on. Let's talk about concealer. I picked up this CoverGirl True Blend It's Lit Brightening Concealer Pen. Skin looks more radiant because we need more radiance. This is in 200 Light Pale. Some of the claims are that it has high definition pigments, will conceal my dark circles, which leads me to believe that I might not need color correcting. Eyes look immediately more rested and rejuvenated, and then the rest is in French. Suitable for all skin types. Apply under eyes, inner eyes, base of the nose, and corners of the mouth. Thank you, CoverGirl. Uh, yeah, there is dimethicone in it, which I imagine is going to add to some smoothing properties. There is titanium dioxide. Uh, that is the last ingredient listed. Um, and made in U.S. with foreign parts. Not really sure what that means, but uh, we're going to keep it moving. So again, I got it in light pale. I think it's going to be a brush tip. This is what she looks like. Yep, brush tip. And then you've got your twisty right here, okay? Um, this is like... I don't know, I don't really like these these really super synthetic brush tips. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, all right, 31. 31 is the lucky number. Let's brush. All right, I'm not mad at the color. Not mad at the color at all. We're gonna do one eye at a time. Um, it's not, it's definitely not my highlighting color by any stretch of the imagination, but um, it's more of a concealing color. Like this is actually looks like my perfect skin shade. Um, it is gonna get messy, just something to think about. You might wanna wipe her off. And let's, uh, let's not fuss around, let's, Let's blend her out. All right, she's, you know, creamy, but not immovable. And I would call the coverage, what do you think, comparatively? Well, I guess it would help if I actually blended out the, um, blended out the concealer, right? All right, let's see. All right, this is one light layer. Because of the formula, I don't see any reason in leaving it on. It's not one of those formulas that you're going to leave on and it's going to, you know, um, get more pigmented. It's kind of like what you see is what you get. So, actually, let me, let me put some on my lids. All right. And this is just my e.l.f. concealer brush. It's my, it's my number one. My number two is the Happenay uh, concealer brush that I also does double time as a um, double time as a an eyeshadow brush for like hooded eyes. It's really good. All right. First impressions out the gate is that this would be a okay. First of all, if you like luminous lightweight concealers with light coverage you're gonna love this formula ease of you know application with the brush tip um if you're my skin tone you're gonna love the shade what did we say it was uh 200 light um i think that if you would like more full coverage this would be a good layering perhaps maybe you could start with this one and then put a more matte concealer over top so that it kind of like shines from within. I don't know, maybe we'll try that in the next eye. But as for first application, is there a difference? Yeah, there's a difference, a slight difference between this eye bag and this eye bag, you know, it's slightly illuminated. Um, is it blinding? By no means, but those aren't the claims either. So I'm gonna hop off, apply it on the other eye really quickly um, and we'll get on to the rest All right, of the bugs. I attempted to build up this concealer. Something to note, the foundation has definitely dried down to a matte finish. Something to think about. Now, because this CoverGirl is, because this CoverGirl True Blend It Slit is so lightweight, sheer to light coverage, if I'm honest, um, and because it's luminous, it actually plays really well with the matte finish underneath. Something to think about. I ended up applying it to all of my high center points. Um, 
And again, for my light coverage, not fussing around, trying to get out the door looking like a human being so I don't scare any of my son's friends or teachers or, you know, the local Popeye's drive through operator, um, I'm not mad at this face at all. I mean, what do you think? I mean, again, you can still see, you know, you can see my skin and I'm okay with that. Like every day you're gonna need something a little different based on your preferences. So it just so happens that I feel that this and this play really, really nice together, play really, really nicely together as they should, seeing as they are from the same company. So we're gonna move right on in to powder. Picked up the brand spanking new Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder. You probably see her floating around your local drugstores. Um, there's also like a triad trio, like a pink, a translucent, and a yellow powder, if I'm not mistaken, float around. I opted for this one. This will run you, if I'm not mistaken, $17, $18.99, depending on where you get it. I did pick it up at CVS. I think it was like buy two Physicians Formula, get $8 back, if I'm not mistaken. So when you, I got it in the shade Creamy Natural. There is a translucent, Creamy Natural, and then I only, I think I saw one or two more shades after that. So when you open her up, it comes with this very interesting dense sponge. I don't think you're supposed to wet this by any means. There was a little plasticky thing that I already um, took off. And so basically, you know, you're just intended. I'm really, I'm not mad at the, the dispensation either. So we're gonna put about that much in the lid. I, okay, I'm, I'm just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna go ahead and pounce this around. No, no, I take that back completely. All right, I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. Um, complexion brush. Get those bristles nice and coated. I'm just gonna start pressing as I normally do. I don't bake. Baking is the sister of the devil. Look at, you'll find it in the Bible or the Quran or the Torah, just saying, or Wikipedia, it's there. Okay, out the gate, first thing I notice, look significantly less pronounced. I'm gonna go back in with a smaller brush. This is a Crown Pro C437 Pro Dome Blender. Watch. I'm gonna press it. I like to keep this area open. Make the frog face so you can get all those creases. Going back in, just hitting the center and over my brow and I am gonna set my lids today um, I yeah this powder it blurs it's still got some life to it it's not sucking you know the life out of my t-zone light dusting under the eye it's still got some luminosity a plus first impression you did it, Physicians Formula Mineral Wear. Thank you, the Taylor, aka Taylor, for that recommendation. Moving along to keep in line bronzer. with the Physicians Formula party we have going on. I've got this Mineral Wear Talc Free uh, Powder by Physicians Formula. This is in light bronzer. Never used her on my channel. I think I've used her once for fun, but we're gonna use her today. So I'm gonna grab this Firma 102 brush. Really fluffy, yummy fun shaped brush and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna warm up the face starting with the forehead get that receding hairline boy and think about winning lottery numbers yes all right love bugs we are bronzed not to the high heavens but you know to the mid tier so I've got two blushes I'm going to try here's the thing um, they both appear very sheer and very shimmery. I've got the Pixie Fresh Face Blush in Peach Parfait, and then I've got the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends in 20 Pure. Um, I know it's gonna be glimmery, I know it's gonna be shimmery. I need a matte blush underneath. So, where the hell's my blush at? Right, okay. All right, I'm gonna grab my Alomar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio in medium tan. She's my number one. I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two shades. Um, Isla and Toasted. 
grabbing my LA Colors blush brush that you can find on at Kmart if it's still around. And um, yeah, that's where I found it. Kmart, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. Really, really nice, really pigmented blush. Again, I mixed the two, the, the middle and the last shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna stamp. We're gonna get some rosiness going on. We're not gonna drag it too far down, but we are gonna bring it up into our eye bags and we're gonna sweep whatever's left on that brush over the bridge of the nose to create a little sunburn action without the cancer. No joking intended. All right. Have you applied your SPF today? Take a moment, think carefully. Did you? Just saying. We're gonna test the Pixie on this cheek and the Neutrogena Healthy Skin on this cheek. All right, let's, I'm gonna grab this e.l.f. blush brush, dip into the Pixie, and going on to here. Let's see, we're gonna apply it more like a highlighter, I know. Yeah, she's definitely glowy, got some goldeny particles reflecting. All right, not mad, not my favorite. I don't really like pink shimmery blushes. All right, now flipping the brush, going into this Neutrogena one. There is a bit of pickup, and again, I'm just gonna try to keep it more on the high points of my cheekbones and dust whatever's left on my eyebrows. All right, show stopping. Maybe if you were a little fairer, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it does a lot for my pores. So I am going to grab my Physician's Formula Powder in Translucent, the pressed one. I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just gonna work on this area here. I got a little excited by the Pixie blush. For eyeliner, we're gonna try this Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Eyeliner in 900 Rusty Terracotta. I love that it's a twist up. It does not have a sharpener. I'm okay with that because I never use those sharpeners. I think it's a self sharpening one. And I like to warm it up just a little bit. That's what she looks like. And I imagine this could be used both as a, um, both as an eyeliner and a lip liner, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me. Yesterday, I tried the Hourglass Caution Extreme Mascara for the first time. And if you haven't watched that video, watch that video. Watch the transformation that occurred to these lashes. I almost don't want to try anything else. However, because I picked up this Milani Most Wanted Lashes, 100% people said they saw instant results. And I'm gonna apply the Hourglass Caution to my left lash. And we're gonna do a, comp a comparison because I am on a quest to find an affordable black waterproof mascara that's gonna make me look like I've got some volume that I got some, you know, lash injection, something, dude. Help a girl out. All right, let's start with the hourglass since we already know that she's gonna dominate in the game. I mean, look at this, just watch, watch. Watch in real time. I'm using the tippy tip to get the outer lash. I'm even applying it to my weak eye. I'm blinking into the wand, which is helping lift I mean, look, look, look. I'm not even looking into a damn mirror. I haven't gotten to my inner corner. Look at this, look, I hope I don't have boogers, look. Look at this. This is beautiful. I told you I went to sleep with my makeup on. Yes, I did. Keep your judgment to yourself. And I woke up and there was nothing, no transfer, no smudging. And that is why today, don't tell me. Today I'm going to Sephora. I'm going to Sephora because I don't want to wait to order it. And I'm going to purchase 
a full size. But I hope it's not one of those rackets where you go pick up a full size and you've got the travel size and the travel size performs, outperforms the big size. I don't have time for that shit. If I'm gonna spend the money on a full size high-end mascara, it needs to perform every single time. And Rand. Put Hourglass, I'm so impressed. And for all you little lash people, I give my stamp, look, just look, 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 look. No face tuning. I wish there was a, a lash, um, what do you call it? Like a tab for lashes, that would be amazing. All right, Milani Most Wanted in black. What are your claims? Instant curl, 100% saw, 97% saw instant lift, asterisk. 91% saw lash thickness build without clumping. Well, what if we like clumping, Milani? Built for speed brush, fearless force formula, an elite blend of natural waxes and polymers glides on weightlessly and instantly curls with no smudging. I'm gonna hold you to that. Flaking or clumping, no parabens, D5, TEA, alcohol, or perfume. Well, that means that my eyeballs shouldn't start watering. Let's begin. I like the packaging. She looks pretty, gold, dramatic. Milani's good at drama. All right, let's smell. Smells like mascara. When you pull it out, there's no disgusting gunk. There's nothing weird going on. That's actually a really beautiful, really beautiful bristles. I'm gonna look in a mirror because I don't know her too well. We need to get to know each other. One swipe, two swipes, three swipes, four swipes. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, the first thing I noticed, all right, is that, all right. I'm gonna keep blinking in. I'm gonna give her a chance. All right, first thing I noticed is that she's a little wetter, but she is new, and we all know that when you let a mascara marinate for a few days slash weeks, you know, sometimes the formula can thicken and improve with time. If you didn't know that, now you know. Okay, first thing I noticed is that I like the size of the wand. I like the texture of the wand. Y'all can keep those big ass wands. That shit is a fucking hazard to my vision. All right. Am I experiencing similar rapid volumizing that I did with the Caution Hourglass Mascara? By no means. However, I mean look, and you can also tell, you see how there's transfer here? I told you this one's a little drier. I mean, you can't see any transfer on my lid. And you can see, because it's wetter, that it's on my lash line, but that's fine. I mean, that can be, yeah, this is definitely a wetter formula. It's gonna be a little unrulier. Um, I, I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time to sit and wait for my mascara to to dry. I don't have time to take a fucking Q-tip and shove it in my eyeball. That shit and just mess shit up. It messes your concealer up. It, trying to make, you know, mascara transfer look like eyeliner. Like I'm too fucking old and tired for that. So what I would like to do is try this again with a lash primer. And I'd like to try it again when it's dried out a little bit because I think it I think for a drugstore option, um, I'm not mad at it. However, hourglass wins a hundred percent. Look at that, I gotta clean that shit up. That's so annoying. Yep. I actually I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that into this is real life. I'm gonna turn it into a um liquid liner. I am not one for applying liquid liner on my channel because it's humiliating, but I'm going to use this so-called waterproof, so-called waterproof physician's formula, um, eye booster in black is black. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp three quarters of the way. I'm not going to wing it out. And I'm not going to bring it all the way into my inner corner because I find that's what works best for me. So, and I'm gonna 
stop right at my okay there we go let's see if we can you know I love you that I'm doing this on camera right I'm just using the side and the tip of the pen to try to stamp oh my god I'm gonna have to use my left hand this is why I hate this oh my god we were doing so well all right I'm gonna turn the camera off I'll be right back okay, everything went left I started watering on the Milani side. When I start watering, eyeliner starts watering, mascara starts watering, noses start watering, concealer starts breaking up, foundation starts breaking up. It's a fucking nightmare. I don't have time for it. So off of the first impressions, am I enjoying the Milani? No, I didn't. It, it fucked up my eye and it's irritating because it's just irritating because my eyes are so sensitive and that's why I have such a difficult time. And you can even tell like when you're pressing your lashes into your finger, this side is the Milani side, this is the hourglass side. And I know some of you will say, oh, but it's been on longer. It was not on that much longer, okay? So, and now my nose is running because it's angry at my eye. Fuck that shit, moving along. Another thing. Uh, something to note about this physician's formula there are youtubers who will sing its praises but i want to show you something do you see those brushes right there this is an expensive liquid eyeliner i don't want to worry about my brush tip being ruined after two uses and then i have to start becoming a cosmetologist and a beautician and trimming my felt tip hairs. I don't want it. I want it to be sturdy. I want the component to be accommodating. I want to be able to put it in and not have to worry about that. I'm going to fuck it up after I just paid $15 for a liquid eyeliner. When you can go to Wet n Wild, pay $3 for that triangular looking one with the felt tip. It's absolutely stunning. Just saying. All right. Physician's formula. If you're going to charge, you know, the price is of minimal sales, all right, have the shittiest, shittiest shade range, your shit should be perfect, perfect, because there's no justification for it. I'm gonna end my rant. I'm back with lip liner on. Uh, this is not new, nor first, it's new to my channel. This is my favorite and only MAC lip pencil in SOAR. I love mauvey, purpley, pinky lippies. I always use this pencil. Fill it in. Today we are, oh look, come on, behave. Today we are going to use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in number 10 Dreamer. This is the new edition. They've got like the fun little designs. I've never used this shade before. I have used the formula. It's not my favorite liquid lip. I think it takes way too long to dry down. It doesn't play well with others, but we're gonna use it today because I thought the component and the color might be pretty. Um, I recommend with this one that you work quickly, that you perfect it the way you want to perfect it, and then leave it alone. Don't tinker with it. Don't try to add another layer to it. You're just going to jank it up. Um, once it does completely dry down, and frankly, I find the thinner the layer, the better, which I didn't do. Um, I find that the less product you put and the longer you leave it alone, I say give her at least 15 minutes. Don't smoke a cigarette. Don't drink. It's okay, honey. Chill out. It's okay. You're okay. Um, yeah, I did it. So... It still feels very wet. It still feels very movable. Here's my thing though. Every time I add a lip gloss on top, it degrades the formula and it starts doing that butthole thing, which we don't have time for, but I love lip gloss and I'm not the most patient individual and I really don't have time, 15 minutes to wait for my lip to dry down. Just saying. And yesterday, Jouer, I tried it for the first time and it dried down almost instantly, not annoyingly, and it felt super flexible on the lips. So all I'm saying is, you know, the formulas exist. It doesn't have to take that long. But, okay, now it's starting to do that thing, right? And I just think if you keep your lips separated and don't close them, that's the best way to do it. But just so I can show you this Milani Keep It Full in Luminoso, 
I have the corresponding blush, but just I'm gonna, I'm just gonna dab, I'm not gonna swipe. I'm gonna try to fake it out. Just gonna put it right there. I'm gonna leave that bitch alone. Cause she got an attitude. Uh, yes, yeah, she do, she got an attitude. All right, moving along rapidly. Milani Afterglow number one highlight. Let's do it, I'm ready. Oh, I added this Maybelline Tattoo Studio gel pencil in my waterline because after I applied that liquid, after I was forced to apply that liquid line, that red line was looking super like I haven't been eating my vitamin D, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, let's move along. My e.l.f. blush brush. Dip right into that pan, and I'm just gonna go right on in. I love putting it in the front of my brow. I love putting it in my whole damn brow. I don't know who I'm kidding. I like to put it there. And I'm gonna put it here. Add some more glow to that glow from the Pixie and the Neutrogena blush. I'm not gonna put it on my mustache because I do have a mustache, and I think it just accentuates. I'm not gonna put it on my um, brow bone because I've got heavy, you know, I've got hooded eyes and a heavy, you know, that heaviness here. So I'm not trying to like, sometimes if I feel like I want to look extra shiny, I put some on my chin. And then I just take a sponge and I press it in. Play that back. It's a poem and I know it. All right, guys. Um, That mascara debacle threw me for a loop, made me a little grumpy. Now I need a cigarette and I need to stretch. Um, But... I was gonna try this Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour in Golden Girl, but I don't really think it's gonna match. And I think she deserves her own moment. You know what I mean? Just her own moment. This is gonna be the longest fucking video you've ever watched, but I hope you continue to watch it because it has its moments. Let's go backwards real quick. Looking at my skin in the studio, close up in a mirror, I think the foundation looks amazing it looks amazing the dry down the finish it looks like my skin it's not collecting in my you know in my mountains and my ridges on my face i really really enjoyed applying blending and the effects of the covergirl it's lit concealer love them together I think the Physician's Formula Loose Powder in Creamy Natural is fucking flawless. What else did we love today? We love the Milani highlight just because Milani makes phenomenal highlights. We think that this Luminoso Gloss is stunning. We think that this driver is pretty for a liquid lip. I think if you're looking for an affordable, long-lasting, sometimes finicky lip, Get, collect the, the Maybelline uh, Super Stay inks. They're gorgeous. Um, again, if you're looking for a not too creamy but pigmented enough um, liner, crayon, eye crayon, the Lasting Drama Matte by Maybelline, I was not disappointed. I was going to use this Maybelline Total Temptation eyebrow pencil, but I'm going to skip it for another day. Um, this is my first time using the Maybelline Tattoo Studio gel liner um, on my channel, and I love it. We know that we love the MAC lip liner in Soar. And I feel like, oh, let's go to the blushes. I think that if you're pretty and you've got pale white skin and you like shimmery blushes, I think this Neutrogena and this, these Pixie blushes will be right up your alley. I think that if you're my skin tone and if you have texture along your T-zone, I don't think it's gonna be the most flattering, I'm just saying. And the if they're not the cheapest, you know what I mean? Pixie and Neutrogena, they've got, you know, they're sort of the mid-range before the affordable luxury pricing. I don't feel like I need to spray a setting spray because everything, look, my nose is fucking running. <laughs> Why? Um, yeah, so overall, Oh, and the mascara. Um, I'm gonna wait for this bitch to dry out, stop being so salty, and I'm gonna continue using the Hourglass Caution. I am gonna run out, maybe I'll do some vlogging while I go to Sephora so you'll believe me that I went. Oh, and as my, 
far as my base, again, if you're looking for a good SPF product, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, that's your way to go. And I feel like these Shea Moisture face products, the uh, Daily Glow Priming Moisturizer, I think it's stunning. I love the way it wears underneath my foundation. And the Color Correcting Moisturizer, I did use that before I went in with this, and it's lovely. So thank you for hanging out with me again. Please click that subscribe button. Um, two thumbs up, you know, this was the original, this was the catalyst for this video. And I, I have to say, uh, it worked for my combo skin, for my maturing skin, for my textured skin. I think that this laid beautifully. I'm actually gonna run outside with you real quick so we can see what I look like in the natural light. And then we're gonna, we're gonna end. So thank you again, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. All right, love bugs, we are outside in the natural light, away from the studio lights. There's no fake in the funk here, okay? This is what my skin looks like. As my, not my favorite, but one of my favorite YouTubers, Bailey Sarian. If you love murder, mystery, and makeup, she is absolutely fucking hilarious. She's so much fun to watch. Check her channel out. I will try to link it down below. But as she says when she ends every video, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Comment down below. All right, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. funny thing happened on the way to the carpool today. You know what I realized? That if I tilt my face this way, my nose looks so elongated and straight and fine. And when I go this way, you can see the Arab in me.